have Sarah Lancaster with us. Welcome, Sarah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, right from the get-go, we may have to put you between us. Just to separate you. Two. Seems Separated. like it's one of those Fridays. I can right from feel the it. Yeah, I can feel it. Um, all right, who is you play Annie Butler? I do. I play who, Annie Butler. Yeah. Is she, is she looking? For, who is she? She is a struggling writer. She uh, is a is a writer, but she hasn't had anything published. Uh, so to make ends meet, she writes operating manuals for like various various electronics like microwaves and toaster oh, yawn. ovens and yeah. yeah yeah so you got to do what you got to do uh, and she has a boyfriend but at the top of the film unfortunately she catches her boyfriend with another lady oh, I hate when that oh. happens so Annie's yeah. pretty down in the dumps and she decides to hunker down and write another book um, uh -huh. and what she does oh there's Vivica there's a, I love mm -hmm. her um, she's great what she does is she envisions for herself the perfect guy, like what that looks like, what do they do together, what is that relationship like, who is this person? And she calls the, the book My George. Cut to a year later, she finally gets that letter from a publisher, played by Vivica Fox, uh, goes to the meeting. It's quickly apparent that the two girls have very different ideas about what the book is about. Annie thinks that she wrote a fictional account about her ideal relationship. Right. Vivica's character says, no, no, no. I bought a memoir. It reads like a memoir. We're going on tour in two weeks. Unless you can find Mr. Wright in two weeks, I'm going to find one for you. And, and then, wow. and then oh, yeah. trouble ensues. Yeah. Wow, do you relate yeah, to that? Yeah, can you relate to her at all? At that time that I read, <laughs> 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 wrote my book. Um, I can relate to it a little bit in that I think, and I know from experience, that love happens when you are not looking for it. You can't force yeah. these things. It yeah. happens when you least expect it. So yeah. yeah. Well, we want to find out about that in a minute, but let's see you in action. Do you have a clip for us? I do. I have a clip. So uh, this is our first book signing, and Annie has not yet found her George. And so uh, Vivica's character hires a male model to, to fill in as her. Mr. Wright for the day, and oh. my character has very different ideas about how that's going to go. I okay. had to turn that down, by the way. They got somebody to fill in for me in the movie. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Sorry. I just, it's a Friday. Okay. Let's take a look. I'm serious. Let's take a look. Okay. Come here. Come here. Love. Wouldn't it be great if we could bottle that? <laughs> what is going on? No one saw his face, Stella. We can save this. Do I still get my day rate? Quiet. Because you said that you would do anything to market this book. This is the thing. This is George. Oh, well, when we're not acting, you can just call me Matt. That's it. I don't want to act. This is my life. And your career, which will pay for your life, which will likely fall apart if I sue you for breach of contract. Fine. Awesome. Let's do this. Okay. Good. Mm. Can I just borrow some of that? Thank you. Yeah, that's sure. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Oh, George, what's wrong? Is that your migraine? What did you do? Not now, Della. We have to think about George. What's that, honey? Oh, 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 you want me to stay and do the reading while you go to the hospital? Oh, that is so thoughtful of you, so selfless. <laughs> wow. She is on the ball. Yeah. yeah. Do you fall in love with him? Or do I have to wait to watch the movie? You gotta watch the movie. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Just, all right, well, I know you found your own Mr. Right, and you found him when you least expected it. I did, yeah, I did. So, so my best girlfriend in the whole world uh, got a job opportunity in Austin, Texas, and I was devastated when she Wow, I'm leave. sorry, but that, that's your husband? That's my husband. That's wow, Matt. what a beautiful couple. Thank Sorry, you. that was in my head and Aww. I said it out loud. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's Matt. Um, and so anyway, Brittany got this job in Austin and I was devastated when she left. I mean, she was my lifeline in LA and I was crying at the airport when I took her to the airport. My first trip to Austin was about five months after that. And I just so happened to meet Matt on that trip. He was living in New York at the time, visiting a college roommate. I was visiting my best friend. Where did you meet him? We met at a concert at South by Southwest, at this music festival in South sure. by Southwest. And I just think, like, had Brittany not gotten that job, there would be no reason for me to be in Austin at that time. And it was just worlds colliding. We did a back and forth thing between New York and Los Angeles for, for six months. Do you know but his half of that story? Did, was he supposed to be at that festival? Was it by luck he was there? It was. I mean, on a whim, he went down and visited his college roommate. Um, Serendipitous. Yeah. yeah. It was fate. Totally. It was meant to Kismet. Be. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. Just two people at the right place at the right time. And it just hit me like a lightning bolt. And I just wasn't looking for it. I was traveling. I was working on Chuck at the time. I was having the time of my life. And it just had to be. Yeah, but I understand too that um, 
you were there just for a few days and you didn't weren't really sure when he asked you out on a date. Are you getting a little teary-eyed? Look, that's yeah. so sweet. <laughs> that is so sweet. You're talking about um, on the first date, and the, but you brought your friend with you and you loved the way he reacted to your friend. Yeah, because I was, was only in town for four days and he said, well, can I take you out tomorrow night? And I, I was wrestling with it because I had met this great guy, but I was really there to spend time with Brittany. And I told him the situation. He said, well, you know what? I'll take you, I'll take you both out. Let's just go out tomorrow. Let's grab some lunch. Aww. Let's go walk around. And that's what we did. And being able to to see how he interacted with my best friend was just like it's, yeah. it sealed, sealed it. The it sealed the deal. Yeah. Well, yeah. fast forward, and now you guys are parents. Yeah, you have you have a little bit. Well, he's not. Is he? A, he's not a baby. What's he's he? my baby. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he will always be your baby. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, how old now? Close to. Oliver will be three at three. the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it everything parenting in your mind was supposed to be and more the challenges that you face? It you? it it is everything and more. Um, you know, he's so engaged in everything all the time and so curious and I feel like I constantly get to experience things through his eyes mm -hmm. you know it's forced me to be really present with him and in the moment and not sweat the small stuff and it's just it, the best it's just the best well it sounds like you found two Mr. Rights yes you right. really did 